anyway, so if you didn't know, I have a new apartment all to myself. It's pretty mad. I had a breakdown last night because I couldn't work my dishwasher. But you know, also a bit stupid because I literally just got myself a bath, literally sat on the floor. But I couldn't figure out a good angle because one of my rooms I'm turning into like an office YouTube studio kind of thing. But like I haven't got around to it yet because that's my like last thing on my list. So anyway, actually introduce the video. Blah. Today I'm going to be doing the show me a photo of video. I did it on my Instagram story not long ago. I've, I've seen it creeping over to YouTube so I thought I'd give it a go. Also if it's really echoey, I'm sorry. Um, I've got like, this is the only bit of furniture I've got in here. Like I've got my kitchen which is up there. But apart from that, this is like, oh, I've just got the camera on the perfect angle and I've messed it up. I screenshot all the photos last night because I got this idea at like 2am. Because I was like, I need to film a video tomorrow because my like moving vlogs and apartment tour aren't going to be up until I've literally got everything I want in here. Um, or everything I think I want in here. So that's not going to be for like a month. Maybe less. Still haven't got a bed, I'm sleeping on an airbed. So yeah, so let's just get straight into it. Proudest moment. So... This is probably my proudest moment. I know I've just been banging on about my apartment and I promise I'll shut up about it. But moving out into my own apartment when I'm 18 by myself, I've never been so proud of myself. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than, it, than it's been. Like, I had a bit of a breakdown the first night I slept here because um, I was like, no, I'm actually alone. Like, no one's coming home. Like, it's so weird, but I enjoy my own company and I didn't expect to. Uh, so yeah, this is just a photo of me sat in my kitchen um, with my keys in my hand um, when I first moved in. So yeah, I, I, honestly, I'm so honestly, I don't care if anyone slags it off or says anything. Like I'm proud of myself, and honestly, I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you guys so much. Otherwise, I would not be able to be in the situation that I am. So thank you. Me and my parents, right? This is a photo with my dad. It's from ages ago, and I've got crusty ass teeth because of fire braces. And then this is a photo of my mum in Spain on holiday, so a bit of bad quality. My mum does not look like that anymore. And it was literally like three years ago, four years ago. I was in, I was going into year 11, so I have not a clue. Um, but yeah, that's me and my parents. Someone's here. It was the parcel woman with a bunch of parcels. Can't keep that still because my dress is on it. But um, I'm just going to open them and then I promise I'll get back to the video. Okay, the lighting's changed quite a bit because... The parcel woman came, I off my parcels. Then I've had someone over sorting the Wi-Fi. So, it's a bit late now. But we're going to carry on with the video. I can't remember where I left off though. Let me just have a look. Fifth photo of myself. Right, where did I put this one? So, right now, this is my favourite photo of myself. Probably change eventually. But right now, that is my favourite photo of myself. Um, I did my hair different that day and I really liked it. I'm going to do it again one day soon. Uh, I had my nails on and I liked my jumper and the lighting was just nice and I liked my makeup. So, and I don't really like that many photos of myself and I don't get that many selfies, it's usually outfit pics. So yeah, that's my favourite photo of myself at the moment. My kitchen made a weird noise. What is that? Beauty of living alone. Any sound you think you can die. The day I blew up on TikTok. Right, so this is the day I blew up on TikTok. If anyone is an OG, an absolute OG, then remember I posted a video ranting about this girl from high school. Like, it wasn't even relevant to a specific girl, like, it was just a stereotype. Um, and I was like, there's always that one girl in there, like, just ranting it, got loads and loads of views, like a million odd views, and I was like, what the hell? Usually when people just get, like, a million views, like, their account just dies, but mine just kept getting views. I was ranting about stupid things that did not matter, um, which is just my life, really. And it just blew up, and I was like... What the hell? But literally, I had that top on. I had such nice makeup on. I had my hair like down and straight, and I had joggers on the bottom. That's what it looked like. It was April. I can't remember, but it was April time. Um, and yeah, that's the day I blew up on TikTok. Fun times. Look at me now. Okay, start of first lockdown. Oh dear. This is what it looked like. What are my eyebrows doing? Why are they massive? My makeup's patchy. I look orange. Like my skin just is not that colour. And my dark hair is just not a thing. Like, I hate my dark hair. Apart, like, my roots are so bad at the moment. But what is my eyebrow? Like, it's a full-on, like, wedge. Like, that's what you put under a door. Like, it's like a doorstop. And I've got my nose facing, which looks weird. But I just didn't like it. In my old, old, crusty, dusty bedroom that had a hole in the wall. Oh, my life. Me drunk. Right, I have not drank. I don't drink anymore, but I've not drank in... 
a year probably. I've not drank in so long. Literally, I just don't. I used to drink before, but I just don't. I don't drink anymore for religion reasons. But also, just like, I just don't find it fun anymore. Like, I don't like being drunk. Like, it isn't something that I enjoy at all. I have to, like, I'm very much a person that I have to be very in control of my life. Like, I don't like other people trying to control it. And I feel like when I'm drunk, I can't control the way I am. Oh, I forgot to say, this is the photo of me drunk. But, um, yeah, that was a really, really fun night out. If anyone knows where Halifax is, that was a night out in Halifax. If anyone's been on a night out in Halifax, they know that they literally, it feels like they put poison in the drinks, like it ain't normal, like... It's not good, but that was at Prinks. I look awful, like, what is my hair doing? That's when I used to wear fake lashes every day. I wore fake lashes every single day for about three years. No wonder I'm allergic to eyelash extensions. I, oh, I couldn't imagine wearing them now, they bother me so much. Me at my lowest point and no one knew. Right, I was gonna show you me. So this is a photo of me a week ago, right? When I was not homeless, but like I had nowhere to go. Like I was staying at my, best, my guy best mate's house and I couldn't stay in my place in Leeds anymore. It physically was not a suitable living situation for me anymore, and that's for personal reasons, which I'm not gonna put on the internet, because when you put something on the internet, it's there forever. Um, and it's just not needed to be speak spoken about, really. Um, like, I put a lot of things of, of me online, but there's some things I just like to keep to myself, which is just a human right, I guess. But um, yeah, this was me. Everyone knew I was at my lowest at this point, but if you wanna see a photo of me at my lowest when no one knew, here it is, this was in my second year of college. I was a mess, I, it's a joke, I was so bad, like, no one knew, no one knew, and I was so miserable, I was suicidal, I was everything in the book. I just, nothing was going right in my life. I, I lost a lot of people, and it was just, it, it literally makes me like upset now to look at that photo, I was so depressed. So depressed, it was so bad. But yeah, I don't really like talking about it, but like, that's when no one knew. It was like, when was it? My second year of college. It was like September time. It was when I just started second year and I absolutely hated it. It was awful. Fave holiday, right. So my fave holiday is either this one in Spain and this was in my summer just before I went into year 11. Um, I, I've not been abroad that many times because me and my family, not that we were like, I wasn't spoiled growing up by any means but I wasn't like poor we were just we were just normal like I don't know like I, did, I wasn't like I wasn't spoiled by any means like work like as soon as I could work I, I had to work for my money which you should do which is how I'm gonna raise my children um we didn't go on many like abroad holidays we do like I didn't really like being abroad because the heat hurts my head like it gives me migraines like I much prefer winter over summer but when we did go abroad, we went on some nice holidays. So me and my brother, me and my, one of my brothers, Ross, and my mum and my dad, we all went to Spain. It was either that was my favourite holiday, or when my whole family went to Canada um, in 2012, I think it was, and we saw our really, really close family friends over there. We literally called them auntie and uncle and cousins. Like, So we went and stayed there for like two weeks, I think it was. Um, and that was so fun, that, that's the furthest I've gone. I've only ever been on a plane twice in my life. That was to Spain and back, and then to Canada and back. Everywhere, but everywhere else I've been, I've been on like a ferry or something. But um, yeah, I went to Canada, and it was one of the best holidays ever. Like, I've never been to America, I really wanna go to America, but if you can't go to America, I would suggest Canada. I mean, no one's going anywhere at the moment because of a pandemic, but Canada was so nice. Like, it was, it, we went in like winter time as well. So it was really snowy and cute, and we got like some photos as you can see, but yeah, love that holiday. Fave bit of my new house. Well, the only thing I've really got in here at the moment is my sofa and my kitchen's done, but I'll insert a photo of my sofa even though I'm literally sat on it right now. Um, but yeah, this is from Snug Sofa. They've kindly gifted me it, which is insane. Um, it's the big chill sofa, but it's the second biggest U-shape one. Um, but it's so, it's unreal, it's like a forest green colour and then like the legs are like a metal, it's like a gold colour. It's so unreal, I love it so much. But um, yeah, thank you for gifting me it, snugs, snug surfers. Very much appreciate it, but this is a photo of me on it. Me as a baby, where's that photo? This is me as a baby. I grew up ginger. I'm actually naturally brown, but I grew up with my hair ginger and it must have just gotten darker, but my hair is ginger here. Uh, this is on my first birthday. If the full photo was there, you could see my dad holding me, but it's just me for now. That's in a house that I don't remember because I lived in that house for two years. 
um, until I was two. And then we moved house to the house that I grew up in. So I only really remember one house. I don't remember a thing from that house, like not a thing. Uh, I remember moving into the new house, but I don't remember the old house at all. Yeah, it's me on my first birthday. It looked like an absolute G. Why is my nose so small? My nose is big now. Well, I think my nose is big. My nose is so small that I wish it was still that small. Oh, well. But yeah, that's me as a baby. I think I got, I think I was quite a cute baby, but I was quite chunky. Like, you've got some right sausage arms going on there. Fifth photo of me and Chris. Okay, this one. This one, the iconic photo. This got quite a, quite a lot of likes on my Instagram. But, um... I love this photo, it's just, I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. Like, I feel like it's something you'd see on Pinterest, not to big myself up, but it's so cute. And like, so many mates were like, what did you do to make it, like, to get him to kiss you on the photo? I was like, he kissed me, like, he kissed me in the photo, which is just the bare minimum, but, you know, I mean, I have a low standards for boys before, but we're not even going to get into that. If you want a whole video about relationships, please put it in the, in the comments, because I could do a whole video on relationship advice, jeez. But yeah, this is my favourite photo. I think it's really, 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 really cute. Um, yeah. Real cute. A cursed photo of you. I'm not even going to comment on this. It's my first football match I ever went to. Yes, my dad supports Nottingham Forest. That's just curse. It's just, it's a hate crime, really. Oh, let's, 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 let's not chat now. A photo that never made it to the gram. This one. So, <laughs> I felt so bad. So, this was less than a week ago or a week ago i think um <laughs> so <laughs> i said to kieran i was like it was like 1am yeah 1 40 yeah 1am oh that might be a bit, a bit earlier than that but it was like late at night and i was like kieran i really want a photo of me in this outfit in front of so your headlights in your car can we go somewhere and drive somewhere so we drove somewhere we'd take the photo and i was like yeah they're really good and i was like you can't even like I hated it. I was like, I look so ugly. If you like it, then that's fine. But I was like, no, I look so weird. But it was a cool photo. I just think the lighting was a bit weird. But it never made it to the gram. Do you think it should be on the gram? Let me know. Fave outfit. So either this one, because the boots are just a, just a serve, really, aren't they? Like, they're just a bad bitch boot. Um, and I was looking for that, vet, that mint green vest for months. And then I went to Zara and it was just flung over the sales section. And I was like, oh, or this. I just love this outfit. This is so comfy. I wear it all the time. And it's like my, one of my most liked photos on my Instagram. But I just love this outfit. It was so comfy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's from Pretty Little Thing. This day last year, right, let me go on my Snapchat memories. The first photo from a year ago today, actually. I'm just going to put it on here. Oh dear. What was wrong with me? Why was I so sad? Were they in a breakup? There's literally like a series of me crying. Confused. That's from two years ago. I don't know what... I was probably just crying over a boy who probably smoked weed outside of one stop, like, anywhere. A photo with a story behind it. This one. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm in a sling. So basically, right, I don't, it's a funny story, but I don't condone what I did. I don't condone what anyone else in the car did, in the van. I don't condone any of it. Do not drive unsafe. This was like two years ago, three years ago. Like, do not, like, I'm not condoning it. Like, it was a stupid thing to do, and we're all aware, and we suffered the consequences, don't worry. But, um, <laughs> Kieran and my other friend, other guy friend, so my guy friend had a van. His name's Ben. He had a work van. Me and Neve, if you all know who Neve is, me and Neve were in the back of the van, like, messing around. We were on a big country road, and we thought, oh, let's just go driving on the country road, like, really, really fast. Like, me and Neve will be in the back of the van. It'll be fun wasn't fun so I was driving and I've literally got a video I'm not going to import it because it just it just condones it even more but I just hear Kieran go we're going 90 mile an hour and I was like Neve what if we die like what if we crash and she was like shut up it's never gonna happen okay okay hon then I right no wait wait I got up to like, I can't remember, I was thinking I was just moving around, I was gonna go sit next to Neve because we were opposite sides of the van holding on to these like handles that were in the back. The minute I get up, right, trust this to happen, the minute I get up, Ben dry, like, hits a deer, I think it was. It might not have been a deer, I don't know, he hit something. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was an animal or just something in the road, I don't know because I couldn't see and it's all a bit of a blur. So I don't know what it was, but hit into something at 90 mile an hour as I was standing up. I went flying from one side of the van to the other. It was like quite a big van as well. One side to the other, dislocated my shoulder. And I think I had a hairline fracture on my collarbone. I can't really remember. I had something on my collarbone. 
it, I was in agony and Neve left without a scratch. She had a little scratch on her face here because she literally didn't move. She like whacked a bit, but I went flying. Oh, it was the most painful thing, but I deserved it. It was my own fault. We were in a and &E for like three hours. But, oh my life, it was awful. I had to tell like the doctor, I was like, yeah, I was in a car. I told my mum I was in a car. My mum only found out I was in a van about three months ago. I sent it to her in a random conversation. But yeah, that's got a big story behind it and I don't condone it. Please don't try like leave hate or anything, but we suffered the consequences, trust me. And it was a very stupid thing to do, but it is kind of funny at the same time. Like, it's funny because I got injured for doing something I shouldn't have been doing. The story behind that, that's in a Mackey's as well. We went to Mackey's after the a &E. Me at my happiest, probably now, 100% now, so I'll put this photo in, it's a little outtake of me in my kitchen being an idiot. But um, definitely me at my happiest now, like I love, I love, like, everything's just going right. Like, something will probably go wrong because it's me. But right now, I'm at the happiest completely. Like, I just am, which is insane because I never thought I'd ever say that. The whole inside of your fridge, okay? Also, there's a missing lettuce. So I bought lettuce to put in my goujon chicken wrap earlier. Disappeared. Turns out it was in Kieran's mum's car because she took me to my food shop. Let down. This is my fridge, though. Ta-da! Something smells weird. I think it's my goujons. <laughs> this is my fridge. Very interesting. It's mostly drinks. And then my freezer's down there. And I've got other stuff in cupboards as well. But I don't know why you wanted to see my fridge. But there's my fridge. Okay, we're back. First time I saw Chris after we broke up the first time. Okay. So, this is me and him together. So basically, I messaged him in April time. No. Rewind. I unblocked him in April time because we had each other blocked for like a year and a half because we hated each other. Well, I hated him. I don't know if he hated me. I unblocked him in April time and he messaged me straight away like, why have you unblocked me? And then we were having a conversation. He kept trying to carry the conversation on and I was just like pining it off. I was like, no, I don't want to speak to you. And then we just slowly started speaking more and more each day and then he was like, oh, I've got a vintage company. Do you want to come model for it? I instantly was like, yo, okay um i've got to see my ex i haven't seen for a year and a half i was like i am absolutely shitting it so i went with neve and chris's brother was there because obviously he had the business with him at the time and i went and the minute i saw him it just went back to normal like nothing had happened like he there's a vlog on it on this channel about actually the first day we um met i think it's called like modeling for my ex-boyfriend and getting three piercings or something like that like it was like a three-day vlog i was absolutely pooing myself and went to nando's on a date and then after that just went onwards from that and we just kept speaking and now we're in a relationship which is mad but um yeah and then this is what i actually looked like but not being big-headed i look like a bad bitch like my skin looks insane my tan is unreal my hair looks so nice my makeup looks so nice the ladies are looking good. Like, I was like, I need to look fit. And he he said to me all the time, well, he said it to me a few times. The I saw you that day and I thought, she's had a glow up. Look at me now, like, with my natural hair. But it was like, he was like, he was like, she's had a glow up. But honestly, I saw him and I was like, I'm fuming. He's so much fitter than he used to be. Yeah, that's the first day we met after we broke up the first time. Bad eyebrow stage. Oh my days. I don't even want to show you something into that. But this is it. This was in year. 10 or 9 i can't remember but i literally why has it got an outline and then a f like why you can't oh dear it's supposed to be ombre brows but it just isn't though is it hon me and my favorite sibling um this is gonna sound really bad that i can pick a favorite sibling but i'm just gonna pick the one i'm closest to so this is my brother ross this was on that holiday in spain i was speaking about i've had my hair blonde before i had it blonde this time this is us two on holiday. Ross is my favourite sibling just because we speak to each other about everything. When I lived at home, at my parents' house, I mean, um, we used to stay up to like 3 a.m. talking and he literally knows like everything. Like, we talk all the time. Like, he's literally like my best friend as well and brother. So, that's my favourite sibling. Sorry all t to all other four of my siblings. Other three, I have four. High school friendship group. Okay, so they kept changing. Like, from like year seven to year nine, I had like, I was in like the popular bitchy girl group oops but um after that i just had like me my friend kerry my friend caitlin and my friend elise back in high school and we were just like a little like f i don't want to say foursome but you know what i mean all the way through high school even if we weren't that close in year nine and in year 10 and 11 my best friend was maya which is here this is my friend maya we still speak now we're just not as close but this is one photo of me and maya so this is me and maya in year 11 this is what i was on about when i blonde to the root 
and then this is me and Maya in year nine in English class. So we were best friends all the way through high school. We like drifted at the end, but we were still like best friends. And then we were at the same college as well. But yeah, that's Maya. Right, there's like four left. KG memory. Um, this photo, when we first got there, this is me, Anna, Beth, Brooke and Ella. When we first got there, and we were, we'd all run up to all the bedrooms, looking through all the bedrooms, and then we saw this mirror and we all took a photo together. But we were all taking it, and then, like, at one point, we all had our phones out, but this was a good memory. Like, just getting there, and we were all so gassed. We were just, like, it was just so good. We were so excited to, like, meet each other. It was so weird meeting each other in person, but definitely my favourite memories were with the girls. Um, although I did have some funny ones with Dude. I can't lie, they were funny. Um, <laughs> I can't put them on the internet though. But um, they were funny. But yeah, this is probably one of my favourite memories from KJ. The first day I met Chris, right, let me find this photo. I think it's in this chat. But this is the first day I met Chris. We went on a walk with Neve. But um, I met him at a church like dance thing, like a, like a church dance, if you know what one of them are. It's kind of like a dance in American high school, but at church. But um, yeah, we met at like a church thing. Uh, we'd been thinking on Snapchat for a bit, but it was the first time I met him. So he was 13 and I was 14, I think. So yeah, that's when we first met. I was so ugly back then, don't know why he ever fancied me. Um, me, the, there's two left now. So second to last one, me starting year seven. Right, this should not be allowed on the internet, but because I love you, it's gone on the internet. It's good. Here it is. First of all, the loafers, no. Right, they got cool the next year. They got cool in year eight, and I got bullied for them in year seven. I was like, this is a violation. I was absolutely livid, I remember. I was like, mum, I need new shoes. Kath Kidston backpack. Kath Kidston backpack. No, and why is my skirt, why do I look like a nun? Why do I look like a nun? Someone please tell me. But yeah, what is the hair as well? Like, why is it all the way over here? And then like, oh, I don't understand. So the last one is my first photo of my camera roll. This is on church camp. So there was like girls camp and boys camp. And this was on girls camp. This is my first one, I believe. Um, I'm like, I've got my arm around my mate Maisie. But yeah, and the theme was Divergent and we got Abnegation. If you watch Divergent, Abnegation's the worst one. I was like, do I look like I don't look in the mirror? Do I look like I, like we weren't like, oh, honestly, it was complete opposite. I wanted Dauntless, I was livid. But yeah, this was me on church camp. That's my first photo in my camera roll. I was like 13. Or 12 I can't remember that was this video I need to outro it before it dies but thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I thought I'd just do it because it's a trend going around at the moment um apartment tour will be up soon there'll probably be a video in between now and the apartment tour like one video um but yeah thank you for watching and I'm gonna go edit this video now and get it up as soon as I can so like and subscribe down below and keep your eyes peeled for apartment tour <laughs>